All right, you guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna do a quick and dirty tutorial about how to customize your MetaHuman clothing within Unreal. I, I know there's some videos out there already about you know, how to bring it into Blender or Maya and bind the, um, the mesh to the MetaHuman skeleton and re-export, yada, yada. Um, but I found out about this new workflow using the Skeletal Mesh Editor within Unreal 5.3. It's a new feature. And I think it's actually quite useful because then you don't have to export and bring into Blender, especially if you don't know how to use Blender or any of these other DCC softwares. Um, this way, doing it in Unreal, although it is a little bit limited, it's super useful depending on what kind of customization you're trying to do. So for me, um, I made a Neanderthal right here and you know, there's some custom stuff. I It's pretty much all custom except for his hair. Um, but today, what I really just want to show you guys is how to change the clothing, right? I gave him these pants and uh, the shoes. So um, let's jump right into it. Um, before we start, I'll just say that this is not a, a beginner tutorial. So you need to know already how to bring a metahuman into Unreal, like the basics of a metahuman. So if you don't know yet, go check out a link that I'll have in the description of how to do that and then come back to this tutorial. Okay, so before we start though, as with anything, we want to access our, make sure our plugins are activated. So for this one, um, you're going to need the skeletal mesh editing tools. And might as well just check this one on too. And also, we're not going to, I'm not going to show you that much of this, but this is something you probably want to use as well uh, at some point. The modeling tools. Editor mode, static mesh editor, modeling mode. Okay, make sure that's all turned on. Okay, so before we start though, I'm just gonna show you kind of like the assets that I've already um, brought in. What I did was I have my MetaHuman and I've duplicated my MetaHuman. So this is the new blueprint right here. And these are the folders that come in, right, when you import uh, MetaHuman. So this is all kind of the same. Then what I did was I brought in a asset pack of some primitive characters. So these are like cavemen characters. And if I click on the filter here, I can see all these skeletal mesh pieces. And it's cool because it's all, um, you know, modular. If you find an asset on Sketchfab or something like that, that you want to use, um, you can do that as well but you'll need to kind of prepare that asset so that when you bring it into Unreal, you know, the pivot point and all that is matched up. I mean, you could change it in the modeling tools, so that's not a problem. But um, the way that I did it, <clears throat> and it makes it really simple, is that I'm using um, these character pieces from the Unreal Marketplace, okay? And if you didn't know this yet, um, in the marketplace, all of these characters that you find in here are all mapped to the epic skeleton, so the Manny skeleton, SK Manny. And this is the one I got. It's a free pack right now, so you can also follow along and, and do that if you want. And if you didn't know, the epic skeleton, so the SK Manny, is actually pretty much the same as the metahuman skeleton and that's why this is so easy to change um, the clothing to something that's mapped to the sk manny skeleton already because it's already pretty much the same structure and size and that's what i'm going to show you today to keep things simple but if you are trying to change it into something that's a little bit different um, you will have to get a little bit more complex with your workflow but if i show you this basic workflow i think you can you know deduce what extra steps you might need to take to even customize it more for your character. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, put these shoes onto my new MetaHuman. Okay, we're gonna swap the shoes first. Okay, so to do that, what I'm gonna do is find my shoe that I wanna use. So let's say this one, double click into the skeletal mesh and then I'm going to go and make static mesh. 
go ahead and put it into a folder of your liking. Name it. Shoes. Okay, and then uh, I don't want to do that. I want to actually go and find the folder. So uncheck that. New tutorial. And here I have the static mesh. I always save just because uh, it does crash, especially when you're using the um, skeletal mesh editor. Make sure you save all the time. Right click on it. Convert to skeletal mesh. Here, you're going to go to use existing skeleton. And I'm going to choose the metahuman base skeleton. Okay, because that's the skeleton that's being used in my metahuman. Convert. Right away, you'll see the skeletal mesh. I'm going to rename this. SKM for skeletal mesh. And then I'm going to double click into it. And here you can see it's actually already matched up. But if your um, mesh is not matched up to the uh, skeleton, you're going to have to like move it around a little bit, right? So to do that, you would go, um, I think model, or maybe go skeleton. No, skin. Okay, so model, polygroup edit. See, I'm kind of moving it. So, and this is why, like, mine is already matched up perfectly because of the way it came in. Um, but you might need to move yours around a little bit or do some other editing. I'm not going to get into this because, yeah, there's a lot of things in here. It's super useful. If you want to kind of just learn this stuff, you can actually do a lot of different modeling. Um, but I will say, if you are doing extensive modeling on this part, you want to actually do that on the static mesh before you convert it to a skeletal mesh because it does give you more options to change the mesh. Um, I'm not going to go into it because it'll take yeah a long time to explain everything. But I will show you a basic one that I'm going to do. I want to make his um, the top part a little bit shorter because I don't want this mesh to cut into his pants. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just do the poly cut tool. So this is basically just a shape that cuts into um, the mesh and I'll make it a square. So this is not like the best way to do it, but um, it is a quick and dirty way. Maybe I, I like that, you know? And this is really just for a demo purpose. For my character, I actually didn't do this because it already matched up. And I'll just say accept. Okay, so now my mesh is slightly adjusted. And then we're gonna go to skeleton. And actually, let me show you something. So if I go out of the editing tools and I select the skeleton here, and I push E to go into rotation, See, it's not bound yet. Control Z on that. And this is the most important thing you need to make sure you do. Go back into editing tools, go to skin, bind skin. Accept, make sure you hit this because you might think you're done already. Click that. Now, if I jump out of this, now if I, now it's bound to the skeleton and you just want to make sure and notice how this is like being pulled a little bit weird so we're gonna fix that up back into editing tools skin edit weights so this is weight painting if you're new to this um, it's basically a way to you know tell the, the static mesh which bone it should be bound to and how much it should be bound to it. So I'm just going to keep this pretty basic because I don't really know how to use the vertices part yet, but I just use brush 
and then um, there's probably a way to do this. Let me see. Okay, so you can select. Oh, I don't want to do that. You got to be careful with these, though. I want to select that bone, okay? And I want to say this part because it's getting uh, dragged out. And I'm just clicking and I'm just telling it it needs to be bound to that even more. As I click it, it kind of goes into place. And that's really the best way to know if everything's good. Always remember to click accept here or else it's not going to um, actually validate. And now I'll go over here to this bone. I don't know why, but you have to pop out of this editing tool for it to actually... Okay, I mean, it's dragging a little bit right there, but I don't really care about that that much. You know, you want to just move this stuff around a little bit to make sure it's not jacked up. You can always go back and fix this, though, even once you start animating and you do notice some um, issues. So I'll save that. And let's get out of that. So we're pretty much done there. I'm going to go to find my metahuman. And I duplicated my metahuman. So I'm going to go into, and I already have that open actually. So this guy. And we're swapping out his uh, feet, right? So I've got the feet selected. And over here, I'm basically just going to find that I think it's called a shoes so I have two because I had made one earlier um, which one is it I mean they're pretty much the same I think it's this one yeah I think this one looks and you can go like it's in the new tutorial so yeah that's the one I just made right so I swapped out and you might be like okay why does it look kind of weird is because the material hasn't been updated. So I need to find that material. And the way I find it is I just go here, click on that, so I have it selected. And now I can go back to the MetaHuman, and I'll just press this arrow key. And now I've got the materials on. Okay, cool. Compile. And we basically repeat that process for his other body parts and I've already made one for the um, the pants so I'm just gonna go ahead and find that I think it's this one okay and the same thing with the materials right so you gotta make sure we find the the materials it's always useful to kind of use that search thing and then have that selected. Now I go here, get the material on. So you might think the pants looks a little bit off. And that's because I think we made some changes in here. Yeah, it does look a little off. So I can go into um, editing tools well actually no let, let's double check so let's click that okay it's bound correctly um, but what happened is I do want to edit this slightly I think I gotta go to the model though because it's, it's not matching up I think it's also the size. I think the size is like. Because I changed the size on this. That's why it's um, it's a little bit off. Okay, let's double check here. 
make sure it's still um, bound. Oh, that's pretty cool. Like, you can actually change that without having to rebind everything. Um, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. So let's see if that helped in the actual model here. Yeah, it did help a little bit, I think. So now the at least the ankle parts are pretty much matched up. Um, I think the size, you know, you can really finesse this and that, that's going to be a part of the work. And let's say, I mean, I'm going to swap that out, but let's say he was going to wear this sweatshirt for whatever reason. Uh, I would probably cut the top of his pants so that it's down to here so that this part wouldn't be poking out. And like I said, definitely learn the modeling tools within Unreal. There's some great tutorials, which I'm going to link below in the uh, description that you can follow to learn those skills. Because once you know how to do some basic 3D modeling, it's going to be super easy for you to kind of just, you know, grab some vertices, bring that in, and really finesse this so that it looks um, really good. Um, but here, we're pretty much done with the lower body. And let's test this out. I'm going to go to the body here, and I'm just going to put an animation on here. And I have something, I think do a walk. Walk forward, maybe. Okay. Cool. The head is not moving, but look, everything else is matched up. And you can see it looks pretty good. Like, I'm pretty happy with this. Um, I mean the lower body at least and here I'm going to show you guys how to fix this head issue I, I know there's a few different ways out there but the way that I have used this um, is actually has worked so far so in the constru construction script I'm going to pull this pin out and I think it's called lead leader yes set leader pose component and it doesn't matter if you select the body or whatever. Um, well, yeah, you should have the body because I want everything to follow the body since that's how it's kind of set up here. And what I'm gonna do is hold control so that you move this body pin to the new leader bone component. And basically it's telling Unreal that, hey, all these other plugs that we're gonna put in here should follow the body. Everything else is already following. The only issue is the face, right? So I'm going to drag this face out and just plug that in. Compile. Look at that. So now we just gave him some primeval pants. Okay. And if you didn't know this already, with why his hair and everything keeps disappearing, because you got to go to LOD sync and forced LODs to zero. Okay, now it's not gonna shrink or anything. Okay, compile, save. And now I can bring my new metahuman with the customized clothing to join the caveman. All right, you guys. Well, if you found this tutorial useful, um, leave a comment, please, and like the video. And that way I know if I should keep making more of these videos or if it's not really helping anybody, then I won't you know, waste my time doing that. Um, but this was something that was like pretty eye-opening for me because I had always brought it into Blender to like do all this, and it never really turned out that great um, just because I couldn't really weight paint that well in Blender. But yeah, this is like a pretty fast way to at least get something going. Um, I'll do some more tutorials later about like how to customize the MetaHuman even more as I learn myself. But thanks for joining. See you guys.